Hello, this is uh, Tiffany, which is D9 female. And I'm going to take her through, so let's make sure she's selected. Of course, normal things. Um, Plugins and utilities. There's a DAS link underneath my website, underneath this video. There, there'll also be a link to David Vodnell for all the actual Unreal plugins. Um, but the main thing is if you have gone through DAS website and uh, through that website, do, 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 do. where it is. Yeah, if you've gone through this website and got the proper plugin, then you'll have the ability, you'll have the plugin then up here file and of course you can um pardon me while well, i just uh minimize to see opening that um <clears throat> and then once you've bought the plugin making sure that you have launched it and installed it um, because it's through here that you'd be able to, if you have any problems with it, and you went to there, you can uninstall it and reinstall it. That always fixes that up. Same with all of them. And closing that off, that's where you'll get that. So, back to here again. Let's get a 5.1 going. And if you've followed through with this, which is you've got the plug-in, you'll go to File, Send to... Hang on. We get a 5.1 going, right? Games, third person and we'll call it G9251 and create back onto this again file send to there's to unreal pick your version hit the install folder this is if you got it they'll actually send the link you go to program files hang on a minute you go to program files you go to epic games you go to the version you want and then you go to the engine and then you go to plugins hit select it'll put it in and it works so canceling that now after you've done that You'll be able to go to your settings, your plugins, other, DAS to Unreal, 5.1.0.9. That's the one you need. We start now. Okay, that's everything done with that. I always like to just make sure that it works okay. Cool. Alright. Back to Tiffany. Uh, everything underneath selected, so you make sure that everything is a uh, child or the parent. Then go up to File, Send To, and whatever morphs her name, Skeletal Morph, choosing morphs uh, that you, ch you pick from here. I have chosen breast side to side and I've chosen blow uh, for her hair um, which you'll always find down below and also I've got her uh, just for her shirt and a few things about that really wide okay so hit and accept ticking there that's the right that's right hit accept and then we just carry on and accept and we make ourselves a cup of tea. But I've got to hand it to Daz and to David. The simplicity of this is perfection. It is easier than uh, rigging a metahuman um, or a character created for. All right, when you see how easy it is, all right, the longest part is this part, sending it through. And that'll depend on the quality of the person. So obviously, DAS9 is starting to push things and get a bit higher up there. So it does take 
But then I've sat here for half an hour waiting for Icon to push through someone that's pretty average. Their animation as well. So there's characters coming through in a minute when it's ready. Let me see importing. If all there was just somewhere else. And just the fact that you've, from Daz, put the plug-in into the back end of Unreal in the right version, 5.1, and then opened up this third-person game and hit the settings, your plug-in plug will be there. Forty degrees here. I think my computer is packing up a little bit. Anyway, and I have to turn the air conditioner off, so otherwise it's too noisy to make the video. All right, so she's in. Let's have a look at her. And the hair, of course, is non-existent virtually. So we will go to. Uh, Bring up the opacity strength to max. Opacity strength, I'd put that. I doubt you'll want that, but what about seven, eight even? Try that. That's better. Okay, and then the next one is the fringe. So I'm gonna put that up to about seven. Uh, Love looking all right, not too bad. Skin looks good. Okay, so she's in okay. We'll save her. That's the longest. That's so that's the difficulty, which is nothing. You can sit there and have fun adjusting the hair to make sure that it's the right density. So, with that in mind, we go back to contents. We hit characters, we hit mannequins, we go to animations, we right click many, retarget animation assets, duplicate. And the beautiful G9 retargeter is there. So leaving it on many, pick the person you brought in. I like to put a prefix so I know it's a DAS. Change the folder to the one that you got the person from, and then hit retarget. And it's done. Now it's simply a matter of going to the third person, to the blueprints, third person character, mesh change to your character, my case Tiffany 2 and go to animation class and change that to the animation you named um, I like to slow her down to walking as well about under there, about that and then compile, save and she's done now we can hit play and there she is my dog Genesis 9, woohoo I hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe.